Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. I got some cool new products from a company that's also pretty new called Calavera Tools. I think they just have their website up now. Um, basically what they do is they are making tool bags. Um, they have a really cool concept here. Basically what they're doing is they are making bags um, for storing screws, you know, uh, biscuits, you know, dominoes, basically whatever you need to store that's little, small, actually just occurred to me drill bits would probably be pretty handy in here. Um, but basically these are like a ballistic nylon bag. Um, the bottom's really heavy, the upper is a little bit lighter, ripstop, and then there's a, uh, a nylon web that goes around it and there's a, you know, carabiner on there and then a drawstring where you can cinch them up tight. And uh, I've been doing some durability testing for the company there. These things will take a beating. I ended up uh, smashing them in the backhoe, running them over with a backhoe, throwing them out the window of my truck at 55 miles an hour and shooting them out of an air cannon, which I should have the video for that up very soon here. Um, basically, these things are really damn tough and pretty much indestructible. Um, and they, their concept is pretty neat. You get um, a, I think six of these, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on that one. And then, a sort of updated rail here that you can either mount on the wall of your shop and uh, you know slide in and out or uh, I believe this will also slide into the side of an MFT or a, a Festool MFT works, work table and um, they've also I think got you know multiple rails like this where you can you know have one on the wall of your shop on the wall of your van you know kind of wherever you need these things and then these you know, clip on here. Now, again, this is a, an alpha build where, you know, they're, I believe, actually in production now where these are, you know, going to be more refined, but this is basically their concept. Uh, I really think it's cool. Um, these bags are pretty handy. I've been using them uh, for about the last maybe two months, something like that, for keeping, you know, little tools and stuff organized when I've been, you know, working. Uh, out of my other truck and it, they're really handy. I really like them for tool batteries. Um, I really like them for just all those little tools that kind of, you know, like crescent wrench, your pliers, you know, all that other crap that just kind of gets tossed in the bottom of a job box and you end up losing. They're really handy for organizing that. But yeah, what I'm really excited here is he has been, the owner of the company has been building some hood bags, which I, uh, I asked him to build for me, and I'm really excited uh, about getting these guys out here. These are um, basically the, the same design, except they are meant for your welding hood. Um, I really hate having these kind of just bouncing around in the back of my truck where they get beat up, and uh, if you leave them in a toolbox, it seems like the bands here tend to get broken. So I am really hoping they actually go into production. These are, I'm not sure, these are kind of for me to play with. I'm not sure if they're actually going to produce these. If you want some of these, leave a comment below. I'm guessing they're going to check that and see if there are lots of people that are excited about these. Um, I am really thrilled with a bag that is just a simple deal that I can put my hood in, that I don't have to worry about it getting scratched up, beat up, or if you put it on the shelf in this, it doesn't end up with enough dust on the inside of it or, you know, just grinding crap where you have a hard time seeing out the lens here. So I'm, I'm really excited about these. I really hope they actually go ahead and make uh, a production run of these. Um, this is basically the same deal here. And it has their logo, Calavera Tools. Um, it's pretty slick. I am really, really excited about these. These are just cool as hell. Um, yeah, the owner of the company is really nice. Uh, they're based out of, I want to say Carmel, Indiana. It was somewhere near Indianapolis. If I'm wrong on that, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, these are just really cool. Um, really a neat product. Looks like this one also has the webbing where you could clip it on something. I think this will probably end up living in the back seat of my crew cab truck where I can just clip it on the headrest. Uh, of the truck and just leave it there where my hood's in a bag and it doesn't bounce off. Uh, you know, like a lot of times if in my truck, I'll just either lay these in the back seat or just kind of stick them on the headrest and like they'll bounce off. This is nice. I can just clip it on the headrest and I don't have to worry about it going anywhere. So really exciting. Uh, nice looking logo, by the way. I don't know where he got these, but um, they look good. They've got this reflective striping on here and they've got lots of attachment points, which is pretty damn cool. So I'm thrilled. 
I'm really excited about these guys here. I really hope once again that they actually do a production run of these. Um, and they have like a little window here where you can put your name or you know whatever else you need. So really exciting. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Uh, if you want to check this company out, I'll put a link down there. Uh, it's called Calavera Tools. Once again, if you want them to actually produce these bags here, um, please leave a comment down there. I know the owner is going to be watching that. So anyway. I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please have a good week and please comment, rate, and subscribe.